quick update and walkthrough for Sunday, June 13th. This is the stove cabinet. I haven't put any covering on the plywood yet. This is just mounted in place right now to at least cover things so I don't have just an empty frame. This is the shower. We've seen that before. This is the sink cabinet. I built the facer panel now for the drawers. I just need to do a little trim on it and I need to get doors for this and then I need to put the stuff in the back. The water system is in. It's tested. The hot water works. It heats going down the road, which is really neat. I put ceiling strips in on the upper parts of my trimmers. And the difference with that is I had those off because I had to have the upper side walls off in order to run electrical. I now have electrical for the microwave. Runs all the way back through the back. I've got the button covers now on all the rear, you know, on, the, on this panel here, and then on the rear panel it goes across the back. You know, and now the power center now has got a little bit of an addition to it. The output from the inverter now runs into the sub panel. The sub panel has two breakers, one for the outlets, one for the, which is, goes to the microwave, and the outlet here on the back of the sink cabinet. And then the other one is for the water heater element, which I will turn around and show you from the back side. It's a pilot lighted switch so that when you turn it on, uh, the, the light comes on. It's uh, set up so you can use the, you know, you just turn on the 750 watt element for the water heater. And then that outlet right there as well as the microwave run off of uh, the 115 amp breaker that's in the power center or the sub panel. And backing up just a little bit, I can open this door here. Notice I got about half a tank of water right now. There's my inlet for the water. This is the water pump. There's my drain assembly. We are now operational as far as having water. We have hot water just from driving down the road. I'm going to put in now one more switch right here. This is going to be for the lights that are going to go on the cabinet that goes right here. There will be a cabinet going on over the sink right here in this area right here. I've already started framing that cabinet. Uh, the next couple of weekends I should be probably installing that. We did get the pantry slides for this big hole right here. The pantry slides are going to have to be fitted, and I'm going to have to put inside paneling on here, and I'm going to have to build a whole pantry slide-out unit. That's going to be interesting. This is the stove, and I'm going to flip the camera here, see if it works. Hopefully. This is a Dometic stove, as you can see. Glass top, cook top. This is the same countertop as this stuff over here. I will also have on this end right here, there's going to be a flip-up end to it. This just lifts up like that, locks in place. A larger burner, smaller burner, larger burner is actually very high output. Um, and it's electric start. You know, just push the button and it's got a little piezo in it. And uh, anyway, that's how that works. And all you do is just lift up on it and it takes it off of that being set up and it sits on rubber bumpers. So this is the galley assembly. This is what I was saying when I said, stand here in this one spot, turn around to the sink, turn around to the stove, turn around to the fridge. Everything is all in the one spot. Step to the side, move the pantries out. This is what I was trying to trying to explain. It's a little hard to visualize until you actually start putting stuff in here. There's a lot of walking room here. You can easily get in and out of this door. There's a lot of space. We are going to mount a handle right here on this front corner so it's easier to jump up and up and down. We're just going to put a little handle out the side. The flip-up table will go here. We'll flip up into this space probably about here. And uh, that will allow us to have more counter space. But uh, that's, that's coming at a later time. But right now we've got an operational van. We can actually go camp in this thing now if we want to. We have hot water. We have, a, we have a shower. We have a refrigerator. We have a microwave. We have a stove. I just need to put the... Uh, the propane in for the stove anyway that's an update for 613 and i will go ahead and try to keep updated as we get this thing done